who am I? My name is Sam Carter. At SCAD, they call me Coach Carter. At home, they call me Dad. My friends call me Sam. My students call me Coach Carter, Sergeant Carter, Sergeant Slaughter, and many other names that rhyme with harder. That's me, Coach Sam Carter. I started fueling the weightlifting community, and the first person I started with is myself. I became a weightlifter a long time ago. Before I even joined the Marine Corps, I started pedaling around in the gym. So after 25 years of failing, because that's what we do, we come into the gym and we fail. I'm willing to fail more than you are. That's why I teach be willing to fail. When I started at SCAD, long time ago, September 4th, 2001, SCAD opened a gym in the basement of a building on the corner of Congress and Bull Street. And the first day we opened, there was no students down there that came and worked out. For the first week, the one or two students who started to come to the gym said that art kids don't work out. Art kids don't want to come to the gym and work out. But I knew that I knew that I knew that this fit fitness thing, this exercise thing, translated because it's mostly about consistency and discipline. It's the same consistency and discipline that they have in art and architecture and filming. It's all the same consistency and discipline. So I knew it translated. And after 18 years, I'm still here and they're gone. You know, we would get maybe three, 4,000 swipes a quarter. Uh, now we get about 30, 30, 40,000 swipes of students come into the fitness center. It's amazing the influence that physical fitness has had on SCAD, and I would like to believe that I was a part of that. I think my greatest accomplishment and impact of SCAD is the relationship of the students that I have. I'm coach, they're the student, they're the student athlete. But the day they graduate, which is the greatest day of, my, of the year for me at SCAD and the worst day. Because the greatest day is I get the opportunity to be with their family, congratulate them, be with them at graduation. But the worst thing is they're leaving. The greatest day is they become, they become my friend. They go from student to friends. The worst thing is now my friend is leaving. All right, and so it's, the, it's all in the same day. And then they, we become friends and we exchange numbers and we become lifelong friends. And so the greatest thing I get from is I now have developed a new friend. Every friend was a stranger at one point in your life. And so we develop these relationships and I travel and we stay in touch and I go in there, I'm in their weddings and they, when they have the babies, they gotta go see them. And so we become these friends and I have this great community of friends. And so therefore, that is the greatest thing that I get at SCAD is I develop and get these new friends. I look for developing these relationships with the young people. I hope that it take away to help others. The least, the lost, the left out, and the last. The answer is, if you actually want happiness and joy in your life, then give somebody joy. If you have diagnosed yourself with loneliness and depression, get new friends. And once you get new friends, go help somebody else. If you want happiness, you go give somebody happiness. If you want joy, go give somebody else joy. It's all about me, me, me. What about going to help somebody else? If you want to truly be helped and blessed, you go find the least, the lost, the left out, and the last, and go help them. If I can help somebody as they pass along, if I can cheer somebody with a word or song, if I can show somebody who's traveling wrong, then my living will not be in vain. If I can do my duty as a good person ought, if I can bring back beauty in the world uproar, if I can spread love message as the master taught, then my living would not be in vain. And that's my future plan.